Hi. <laughs> I'm Hannah, and uh, I'm engaged. I was shocked uh -huh. just because it was such a big moment, and um, I think I had so many things going through my head. Um, and the one little thing, but it, the biggest thing was like, oh my gosh, like this is like the love of my life. Like, oh. yes, yes, yes. But there was that one thing where I was like, family, oh my gosh. But I think finally I found it myself to do something that I wanted to do for me and I knew that my family was gonna love him. And I was like, I've done this whole thing from the very first day, not listening to other people and just doing me and following my heart. And ultimately that's what I did when I said yes to him. I was like, I've got to follow my heart and my family does in fact freaking love him more than me almost <laughs> were you a little worried after that conversation that you guys had about her family that she might not say yes yet i i just i knew together that we could really tackle anything and i think at the moment i knew hannah saw that too mm -hmm. so i just wanted her to know that i was willing to commit to her for the rest of my life and that i was going to keep fighting for her and um, i'm just happy she said yes so what's next for you guys Going to brunch with uh -huh. friends, uh -huh. taking walks. Working out together. Working out together. Um, doing things outside Yeah, would be fun. Um, no, but really just enjoying being engaged, enjoying um, being able to be public with things. Um, it's been fun being private and being in this bubble, but um, I think we're really excited to live real life. I don't really want to bring Blake up, but when he said he was in Birmingham for 12 hours, I think we were all a little shocked. What do you... What was he? What did he do for twelve hours? I so the reason that he came was to have a conversation yeah. with me about the whole stagecoach thing, and I was already unsure, and I think that's why he was like, "I'm coming there." Um, but he, we had a conversation, and then he left the next day. So um, that said, and I, I think um, I I definitely felt like I owed him a conversation whenever he came all that way, yeah. even though it, it's a weird situation, but it was still like a big gesture. And um, I'm a human and, you know, I'm open to giving anybody the benefit of the doubt. And from what I knew, a lot of people, or from what I was told, you know, there wasn't emotions attached to it. So I had heard a totally different story than, mm -hmm. you know, what I ended up watching after, so. Mm -hmm. Do you have advice for couples who are, you know, the future couples of this franchise? After what you guys have... Um, no, just go for what you want and just be honest and transparent the whole time doing it, so... Yeah. What's your biggest thing you're looking forward to once you can be in public? I like the mimosas thing. That would be really yeah. fun. Yeah, um, getting yeah. mimosas, um, having him hold my shoes more often like he is right now. <laughs> um, yeah, just normal life stuff. It's going to be fun.